and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States. The Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida that I am duly qualified. That I'm duly qualified to hold office. To hold office under the Constitution. Under the Constitution of the state. Of the state. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully perform the duties. Perform the duties. Of state representative of state representative on which I am now about to enter of which I am now about to enter so help me God so help me God I'm so happy for you everybody a big round of applause for state representative Emily Slosser and ladies and gentlemen the women of the hour our new superstar of District 91, State Representative Emily Slosberg. First of all, I have to thank uh, State Representative Mick Mick Mickey and Dave Ehrenberg for their opening remarks. Wow, wow, really touching. And the long drive that you took, extremely impressive. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I wanna thank each and every one of you here today because without you, I wouldn't be here. We did it. We did this as a team. I never would have thought, like today is extremely, extremely special because I never would have thought 20 years ago when I was lying in a hospital bed on a respirator with bones out of my leg in the Delray Hospital, finding out I lost my twin sister. I never thought for a minute that I would be standing here today, and I am. After that tragic crash that killed my twin sister, my father, Irv, and I decided we have to do something. We have to do something to make sure that nobody else goes through what we went through. And to that end, Representative Irv Slosberg served for 12 years in the House of Representatives. Representative Irv Slosberg and I and Tara work with the Dory Saves Lives to educate kids on traffic safety. And we've accomplished a lot. And, we will, and with me as the state representative and Tara and Irv at Dory Saves Lives, we will be accomplishing a lot more. I've learned two very important things from Irv, the former representative. Two very important things. One, constituent services. I, as my campaign, I promised I would have an office on the ground floor in the heart of the District 91. And that's exactly where it is. We're right here, the second floor, Slossburg. We're always open to the public. We never ask you, where do you live? We say, how can we help you? And as you heard earlier, we had a constituent that was a testament to it. The second important thing that Irv Slosberg has taught me is filing legislation that reflects my constituency. It's not the priorities of Tallahassee. It's not the priorities of, of the lobbyists. It's the priorities of the people I represent, you right here. So I, I, the average age in my district is 75 to 80. And to that end, I plan on filing legislation that represents my constituency, which represents you guys. We're a team, and, and actually, I'm having a senior advisory committee next week with representatives from COBRA Alliance and the various different senior communities. So I look forward to coming up with legislation out of those committees. I'm very excited to be in the State House, and I look forward to working with Keone and Dave and uh, in, in the future, and God bless everybody. Thank you for coming, and let's get things done in 91. Woo! Oh, baby viewers want to speak. And so we'll be having Rugala and Black and Whites that will be coming down. Oh, and I see Councilman Weinroth just came in. Hello, Councilman Weinroth. Anybody else that I forgot to recognize here? Okay, we have Andy Thompson, okay, from Boca. All right. And wait, before I finish, I have a, awards. Where are the awards? Carol, yeah. Carol. We have awards to present for some outstanding members of our community. Some, some of the people that have been, I, I don't know what we would do without them. Ready? Yep. Shelly Lippman for being an outstanding community leader. We couldn't do it without you. Come up here, Shelly. <laughs>
Congratulations. We'll just have you guys like stand along. Next one. Thank you so much. Fred Hadley for being an outstanding community leader. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Marty Cedar. Congratulations. Bob Shulban. Edsel. There he is, incognito. No, it's in the yeah, incognito, right? <laughs> you know that. Now, thank you so much. One thing that we we would be remiss if we did not do is is unfortunately on Friday there was a horrific massacre at our airport, and and it's such a tragedy, and and you never think it could happen this close to home, but here we are, about 40 minutes away, so. We would just like to have a moment of silence in honor of the victims of the Fort Lauderdale airport shooting. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to stick around. We're going to bring up some cookies, mingle with Representative Slosberg. And I, I think Dave Ehrenberg was going to be singing for entertainment. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody enjoy yourself. We're bringing Dave, some cookies. Dave, Dave, and I want to also recognize doing? President Jim Gibbs of the West Palm Democratic Club. I didn't see you back there, Jim. And I also, well, I, okay. okay, so. Did you, want to say, did you want to say a few words, Councilman Weinrod? This is Councilman Weinrod. I really, I just want to congratulate you on behalf of the city of Boca Raton, and we are really very excited about having you represent our city, and we'll have lots of things for you to do on our behalf, so work hard. Okay. Thank you so much. You've been one of the best councilmen on our community. Okay, and Carol's going to sing God Bless America to end, to end it out. 